Let's go to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Chargers. They improved to 3-0. and The Steelers, who knew? Of course, you know, the, the, the blue chip stock of the NFL. Um, the run game, Justin Fields looks great. Talking about second acts and, you know, guys when they're surrounded by talent and, and uh, you know, environment and, and situations matter. 245 passing yards, one passing touchdown, one rushing touchdown. What did Luke Keekley learn about Fields and these Steelers and this offense on Sunday? I think they're, they're resilient. For what Justin Fields has kind of been through and He's got a little vindication this year with how they've started this season out. But he had some guys in his team make plays. Scotty Miller made a play. Calvin Austin made plays for him when he needed, when he needed him to. But I think a lot of this game comes down to, to Mike Tomlin and the mindset of this care of this Pittsburgh Steelers defense, right? Or Pittsburgh Steelers mm-hmm. team. They're banged up on the offensive side of the ball in the Chargers. Slater goes out, Alt goes out, Justin Herbert goes out. So in Mike Tomlin's mind, he's like, all right. Let's keep this simple on the offensive side of the ball. We're going to play really good defense. We're going to give Justin Fields some opportunities to make plays, and we're going to pound the football. And at the end of the game, that's exactly what they did. And that's that's why I like watching Pittsburgh. They know who they are. They have they have no there's no pride that they have to check. Mike Tomlin, if they had to run the ball a hundred times to win, he would do it. He doesn't care how they win. All he wants to yeah. do is win football games. And their defense. Their defense stepped up and played really well, and I think their offense fed off that. I think, you know, the Chargers basically said, we're not going to let you run. (laughs) And guess what, Justin Fields? You're going to have to beat us with your arm. And guess what he did? And I thought that was the really impressive thing, walking away from that. You know, Chargers totally stacked the box, uh, and and he was successful. Tomlin said after the game that Justin Fields is doing, he used the word awesome. He's doing awesome. They're 3-0. Should Justin Fields be the starter for the rest of the way? Absolutely. I don't know how you you take him— out of the game right now. Obviously, you know, Russell Wilson's had a great career, but they're they're three in a row, three and oh. He's he showed that he can be efficient throwing the ball this past week. The guys on the team believe in him and I, you you ride the hot hand at some point. Yeah, seeing Justin Herbert in that in a boot, not fun. Left the game no. in the third quarter. Your boy, who you spent time with, Taylor Heineke, uh, might might get some playing time here. Uh, what do we need to know about him, about how he might be able to carry this offense a little bit? Not my favorite news of the weekend. No, I'm a big I'm a big Justin Herbert fan, but Taylor Heineke, he is a tough football player. And I'm very curious to see what happens with this Greg Roman offense. Taylor's an athlete. He can run. He's he can he can get out on the edges. And what we haven't seen from this offense a whole lot this year is the quarterback pool. Obviously, he did it in San Francisco with Colin Ka- Kaepernick and then obviously the past couple of years with Lamar Jackson, if they struggle to, to throw the ball and if they struggle just with traditional run game with, with Alt and Slater being out, do we see a little bit of this quarterback run game where he's reading the defensive end, pulling it, getting on the perimeter, and then really get back to playing, hey, are you, am I going to run inside zone? Am I going to pound it? Boom, I can pull it on the perimeter. Do I have any play action off of that for some easy throws for Taylor? So I'm excited to see what they do moving forward. They've got a They've got a tough next couple of games. They got the Chiefs coming this week, so they're they got their work cut out for them. But Taylor's a Taylor's a gamer. He's going to get out there and sling it around. The moments isn't isn't going to be too big for him.